So uh, this is our uh, OnStar mobile application for the Volt, mm -hmm. no. and uh, what we, you probably saw this at CES. I already. did, I did. And what we wanted to share today are some of the new features we're working on with SDK for location-based services. Okay. Um, but it's also connected to this Volt, so we can show you some of the you know things we've shown in the past. So um, let me go ahead and uh, do it or unlock right now, but you can remotely control your um, your vehicle. So if you want, you know. Lock your doors. Let's say I left my car at the airport mm -hmm. and you know, I forgot to lock it. I could, uh, you know, do that for my Droid. I could, you know, if I lock myself out, I can unlock it, um, remotely start it, so that you know, electric vehicle remote starts a little different, which you'll see once you get in there, uh -huh. because it basically um, electric skills don't idle. You know, they're they're right. just on, so it's really for your your comfort um, to set the cabin temperature to what you need. If you want, you can also do a remote alert to find the. Uh, Vehicle and the sound of horns. Yeah, yeah, the sound of horn lights. So. Um, you also said the charge. So let me talk a little bit about the data too. So um, last time I read the data, the volt was plugged in. It's set up to in a charge mode to charge immediately upon plug-in, and it's actually plugging right, uh, charging right mm -hmm. now. Um, and it, at the time I read the data last, I had about a third of the battery full, eight miles of uh, electric range, and. Uh, with the gas that's left in the tank after our uh, road dry, you know, driving <laughs> course yesterday, yeah. um, that generator will kick in and it can go another uh, 130 miles, which um, basically the generator powers uh, the batteries. You're always running on electric, but right. you have extended range. Um, I also get notifications of any events that I'm interested in. So and let's say I forgot to um, uh, plug in my bed. So using mm. OnStar, the data we have from the car, use your um, Android phone here to set up your profile, I can get a reminder to plug my bolt in if I forgot. Or maybe um, I'm just curious because I have a new uh, bolt, how, you know, when is phone charging? You email or text, or if for some reason my charge is interrupted, maybe uh, I still want to plug the cord in the garage and, right. and I want to know so I make sure I have um, uh, enough range to get um, back to work on the next trip. Um, the new stuff is with navigation. So, um, and touch the navigation tab here, and what this is doing launches the um, it's a map activity as part of the SDK, mm -hmm. and it'll show the phone's location and the vehicle's location on the map. And we're tucked away in the back corner of uh, yes. uh, Moscone West, so it's a little tough for GPS in, in the environment we're in. But um, right now, it's uh, reaching out to um, locate the vehicle and the phone, and it'll show them here on the app. And uh, then once I have the location of my car and my phone mm -hmm. and a connection to other apps on the phone and the internet so do some really interesting things. So so here the vehicle's located the here. And uh, you can uh, um, zoom in on it. So um, and then the phone is still kind of locating so um, but I'll see the phone here as a blue dot and that's just uh, using the location manager part of the SMP. Mm -hmm. Um there's a phone and it's still kind of narrowing in. Um, and then once I have both of those, what I can do is with some of the services that you want. So let's say um, I forgot where I parked my car. So I get can do car finder using the car's location on my mm -hmm. phone. I simply touch it on the phone. Oh, wow. And get directions to my vehicle. And this will use the Google Maps and navigation app on your phone to um, pass the information about your car and your phone to give you directions from where to you are. To give you driving directions back to your, your car that you're trying to walking follow. Directions, yeah. so, you know, depending on what you need. So like I said, we're in the back corner, so the phone's a little unhappy right. with this GPS, but um, uh, it, let me go back to our app. And uh, we have, you know, we did some uh, videos in our lab uh, and also on the driving course, if you want to show some of that for, um, for your audience. Uh, but it, it's a pretty awesome experience. And the other thing that's kind of cool to do is let's say I'm here in town and my wife's driving the ball. Mm -hmm. and, you know, pick me up, I'm near the conference, I'm not sure where I am. I use the location from my phone, send that directly to my vehicle, mm -hmm. and she'll get voice guided through my turn directions from wherever she is in her vault <laughs> back to wherever I am with the phone. Can she reverse that and find out where you are and track you down? Um, or it, it, is it all initiated from the phone? It's all initiated from the phone. So so it's my choice to share that with gotcha. her. And, uh, but what's really... Not that I'm worried about my <laughs> wife ever doing that. But. Yeah. What's really blown me away, though, with the um, Android SDK and Google technology, the voice search mm -hmm. and integration vocal. So, um, you know, 
you say, you know, it's a restaurant around here, a place you might want to go to, or, you know, say I want to go to Fisherman's Wharf, you know, maybe get some souvenirs later on. Fisherman's Wharf. So it's pretty noisy in here, but I'm using the voice rack activity, and I start it from the time. I'll get a result back. And it's that. got the noise canceling mic, so that'll help me in yep. the car. Yeah, and uh, the, there's a lot of people here with their droids, so it's a, a little slow right now, but let me, tr let me try that again. Fisherman's Wharf. So it will find the destination you're talking about and then give you directions. Kind of yeah, so, so voice rec populated, you know, Fisherman's Wharf. So it's go. noisy as it is here. Mm -hmm. uh, hostile demo environment, right? <laughs> yes. And uh, um, it found that, passes that to Google local search. Mm -hmm. We put that on the map with the map activity. And you can simply touch on that. And then I can touch send directions to my vehicle. Oh, very cool. And then when I get in the car, I'll have voice guided on start turn by turn directions um, from wherever I start my trip, you know, the next time I um, power up the bolt mm -hmm. to Fisherman's Wharf. Very cool. So it, it's been sent to OnStar, it'll be ready for, for the next one.